Hey everyone, it's Stellar Steel, and last time, another dimension self of me decided it was a good idea to not get the last rain rainbow drop and let all of Dreamland and the Cloud Kingdom be completely ruined by some whatever, some whatever that dark force was in the credits. So, this time we're going to be getting the true final ending, not the fake one, but the bad final ending. If you break this ice, get fire, you go to this puzzle room back in level 7, in Dark Castle. You want to get fire, then you want to get stone. Make sure you don't actually grab your power up again and don't let those... Master Pangui or uh, kill you. Break these blocks right here. After you get stone, next, shoot up for Spike. Not, don't get shot by Spike like that would kind of hurt. So break these like dice-looking blocks. All right, next up, we got something that's not very nice. It's ice. See how not nice it was? Okay. Break these gelatin blocks. It sounds the sound effect is still amazing. Last but not least, we get Cutter! And then cut these, like, wood-looking blocks. Go in here. We get the final rainbow drop in Dark Castle. And we get a 1-up for our troubles. We're gonna need that. Broom hatters everywhere. Okay. I'll see you guys outside, back at King DDD. If you defeat King DDD, once you have all seven rainbow drops, check this out. We'll combine them together for a flashing blade of light, and that dark matter we saw at the end of the credits comes out of King Diddy's body. We get sword for the sky, Prepare for pretty good music. This is Dark Matter, the being that was c controlling King DDD. He fights as in a one-on-one -on -one sword battle. Like basically, what I'm saying is, yeah, there is no Meta Knight, but at least this guy takes over, and he does an amazing job taking over. And they portrayed him so nicely in Kirby Planet Robobot. But he fights with a blade, while we fight with our own blade of our own. Don't take too much damage on this phase. Let's so shoot like little. He'll, you know, fly around the stage, you can hit him, it takes a few hits to actually get a hit off him. Hit him with the, uh, orbs that he throws back, it actually does a crap ton of damage to him. Then just actually hit him with the blade itself. So wait for them to shoot those beams, and then just slice back. Try not to, try not to get too close to him. I don't know, he got a nice little slice on us. We slice him a few more times, and check this out. He's not done yet, but prepare for amazing music. We have Dark Matter in his true, ugly form. He'll shoot those beams at us, we can also reflect back to do a bunch more damage. So, with much due respect, just take a nice little listen to this amazing music crafted by HAL Laboratories. Okay, so this is kind of like an orange flower looking thing. If you take too long in this fight, you will get consumed in the void for some reason. I don't know why. We're going down, but somehow we, we can die. Watch out for like these little like spark beam things, so... Ah. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to live this. I might actually have to cut this back to me going back to the fight. Yep! Well, I'll see you guys back here once I'm back fighting him again. And I will say, one thing that Dark Matter is awesome, I just love about him, is his flair he has. His awesome hair, that cape, like... Is there, if there isn't any, any enemy that you would be willing to fight, He's got to have style, and this this guy does a good job being like a rogue knight the way he looks. Like, it is, I feel like he's very, definitely a very underappreciated enemy in the Kirby series. Like, come on, we got to appreciate him some more. He's he's really nice. But he's not really nice, he's actually very mean, like ice. And he just sliced it through us, so that's crap, and he's also shooting beams at us. Great math like the King DDD, King DDD disadvantage I had. Hey, but good thing I have 43 lives, right? Yeah, that's not this. This one's not going in the books. So, what's the best strategy for this guy? Is just fly around, dodge his attacks. So you can get a few cheap shots on him when he's not sitting there. When he's just sitting there, watch out for his beam attacks. Shoot the balls of dark energy back at him. And he's, for some reason, his own weakness is himself, just like Metal Man from uh, Mega Man 2. It's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. He's not that big of a not that big of a threat. It would have been nice if I took no damage there, but oh well. Great. 
Let's one more ball of lightning. There we go. Now, Dark Matter second stage. Basically, you want to go behind him, and then shoot these balls at him, and they do a bunch of damage. That is, it's a really good strategy, so go do that again. He's basically almost dead. Uh, get some more cheap shots on him. Uh, watch out for his radical movement, he does. Alright, so go down when the area he hasn't shot at yet. Or the area he's already shot at. Uh, I don't really have any advice for when he's doing that. So I just try to get lucky. Or really just go in the small bits, the small holes he hasn't shot in yet. Watch out for when he's doing that charge attack. Definitely hit him when he's shooting the balls of energy. Uh, watch out for that like electric spark attack too. That is really devastating, so... Ugh. Alright. Do the orange fecal matter again. He's almost dead, so... He's a pretty easy boss if you know what you're doing. So if we can go over here. Then take him out, that's it! Kirby's Dream Land 2 is an absolutely amazing game. I know I say that about it pretty much every game I play, but it deserves its own special right. It's probably it's one of the first games on the Game Boy to have collectibles. It's the first Kirby game to really have collectibles. It does a solid job with various endings, which a lot of games later on will use for series staples for their own series, and for various Nintendo games. It's just a fun joy ride around, and it's the first game, Kirby game to add any collectibles where it actually matters about getting the, you know, the big final ending, which I actually haven't completed a lot of those games. It's the only Kirby game where I've actually completed, where you want to get a collectible, you have to get, in order to get the, final, the best possible ending, you have to beat the game. And also, hey, look at that nice rainbow from Super Game Boy Graphics. Very small credits. Uh, whoever was back in the credits scene, I will mention in the bonus episode, whoever that was made the game, and he's basically fell off the earth, and he's never been seen again, but Kirby's Dream Land 2 is an amazing game. It's definitely something to play whenever you're feeling down. Any Kirby game is. It might... It's... It's got some good challenge to it, and you'll see more later on, but thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Kirby's Dream Land 2, and I'll see you all next time for another Let's Play. I was returning to a foreshadowed world well, going to a foreshadow world from this game, so you can figure that out yourself. That's the hint for my next Let's Play. So, yeah, see you guys then, and thanks for watching.